What is going on guys, DJ Spinda here, and I'm going to show you today how to randomize a Pokemon game. You guys have your Pokemon game, you have your ROMs, if you don't know how to do that, check out these other videos that I have posted on how to download DS ROMs and how to download uh, GBA ROMs. First off, you're going to want to download the Universal Pokemon Randomizer. Pokemon Game Randomizer, right up here, okay. So, you go to your downloads, and I'll have links in the descriptions for everything. You download here brings it up down on the bottom here look at that beautiful all right and then i always do i always you know you can do show and folder i guess i'll just open it up right now because it'll just take it take me right to here um look at this please purchase winrar license you actually do not have to it is a suggestion and now you can just use it as as you do um and we're gonna extract everything to our oh we're gonna go to our tutorial folder tutorials right here and we'll export it into tutorials boom okay now that you have that downloaded that's kind of the bulk of it really all you have to do now is just open up the randomizer I've got my ROM right here um, this is just all for just for me to know where everything's at um, so we're gonna open up the randomizer bada boom bada bing here's your universal Pokemon randomizer you're gonna open a ROM, and for me, I'm going out of my randomizing folder to go wherever you have your ROM saved. We're gonna use the Ruby uh, ROM, and here you can change everything. Everything from, uh, you know, Pokemon base stats, uh, abilities. I don't usually change a lot of this, but you can randomize typings, you can randomize evolutions. If you do randomize evolutions, you can do similar strength typing, all of that jazz. Um, you can change impossible evos when you hover your mouse over it it drops a little box down like this that shows you exactly what it does you can read through that on your own time um, this makes evolutions easier it just makes them uh well as you can see when you click over this it, it uh it, pokemon that normally evolve at a high level will evolve by level 40. um yeah so once you have everything all your settings done and everything then you're going to hit randomize where it says save here and it'll create a new <clears throat> so we'll just name it uh, Ruby Random. Oops, if I could spell, jeez, I cannot type today. Uh, Ruby Random. And we'll save it there. Uh, this may allow, um, yeah, it, th you can get uh, a save log, so it'll kind of tell you what all the changes are. We'll just leave it as it is, um, and then we'll hit done. Okay, so now you're done with your randomizer. You don't need to do it anymore. And now you should have a randomized game. We'll open it up. It'll open up here in my little emulator window, and we'll see. I have my volume off on it because it's usually really super loud. Um, okay, we'll do new game, and we'll just speed up through it. Um, we're A. <laughs> okay. Now we'll cut ahead to our starter selection. Alrighty, now let's check our starters and make sure that it was randomized properly. We have Kadabra. Look at that. We have the five-star Pokemon Ledian. Look at that. Okay. And Wismer. So we are randomized. I'm gonna I'm gonna take the Kadabra and we'll see what the random Pokemon is at the start of the game. Oh, that didn't get randomized. Well, I might have skipped that option, but I think it is an option. But here's the moves: Hidden Power, uh, Meditate, Confusion, and Kinesis. So it has four moves that are random, except uh, I did leave uh, same similar typing on, so if you wanted to be completely random where you have like flamethrower and stuff, turn that same typing off. I believe there's also a, a trigger where you can select how like closely it follows that, like one or two moves of, of the same type or something. But anyway, well, uh, oh, he's a dark type. Uh, I'm good at Pokemon. We'll do hidden power, boom, it's dead. Um, yeah, so that is uh, a full tutorial on how to randomize Pokemon games from generations one through generations five so if you guys enjoyed this if it helped you if you have any questions feel free to comment down below uh, I try to check the comments as often as I can I also have a discord that you can follow when I answer questions personally on there as well so if you guys like this go ahead and smash that thumbs up button down below check out the other tutorial videos on how to download these uh, ROMs and stuff and the DS ROMs uh, one as well and uh, I will see you guys in the next video thanks bye